Hello guys, welcome to my channel, Daniel here. This is my new acquisition, a DJI Phantom 4 Pro drone. Now I know the drone is 3 years old, but I'm doing this video to let you know that now that the Mavic 2 Pro and the Mavic 2 Zoom are available, you can get this drone on sale, and I did for about half the price of the Mavic 2 Pro. And both have a 1 inch sensor, that's why I chose the Phantom 4. Because in my opinion, if you look at the videos on YouTube comparing the footage of the Mavic 2 Pro and the Phantom 4 Pro, in my opinion, and the opinion of many people, the quality of the video footage is still better with the Phantom 4 Pro. And like I said, I got it for half the price. I also prefer a larger controller because it's easier to hold. And I use a tablet. I have a Samsung Galaxy S2, which is a very bright uh, tablet to use outside. And it fits perfectly over here. So I like this controller. I also have stickers, as you can see. I'll put the links in my video description. It's hard to remember the light pattern on the drone and on the controller. So this is very useful here. So I'm going to give you uh, the links. I wish I lived in Florida, but I don't. I live up north in Canada. We can only fly uh, six months a year, basically. And as of June 1st, we have new regulations. We cannot fly in controlled airspace, which is basically my whole city. So I did the footage just outside control areas. You will see at the beginning of the video, you'll see the city at very, very far in the uh, on the horizon. And believe it or not, I am right at the edge of control airspace. So just to show you, it's almost impossible now to fly a drone in, uh, in many areas in uh, Canada, unfortunately. I have my pilot license. My drone is re registered over here. There is a number. So let's have a look at what uh, I did for my first flight with my new Phantom 4 Pro. I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day. Goodbye, guys.